Well, hello and welcome yet again to another sensational episode of Adventures in Entrepreneurship. I am your host, Jared. This, of course, is Captain Clay. And we are helping you navigate the tricky waters of entrepreneurship. Today, Clay, we are talking about the importance of a monthly budget. Tell us why a budget is so important. Well, um, the, having a budget is just massively important because it should keep you in check financially at all times so that you never wake up and go, oh my gosh, what is this bill? If you're watching this and you've ever said that, oh man, what happened? It's probably because you're doing some automatic withdrawals on your checking account, you know? Don't do that. Don't do automatic withdrawals. Don't do automatic billing if at all possible. Because you want to know what your bills are. You don't want to get a, you know just hit. A, you want to get a bill for something that you're unaware of. Um, you you want to decide right now what you need to do to get ahead. And I'm going to give you an example for my wife and I from our budget when we started the business because this might help you out there. Um, at the time we lived at the Fountain Crest Apartments at 71st and Lewis. Lewis. Anybody here has ever lived there? Big shout out to you. Um, but anyway, we lived in a one-bedroom palace there, and that bad boy was $500 a month for this, this guy. Now, we made the decision, based on our budget at the time, that we would actually make our office and our bedroom the same thing. So there was actually no differentiation between the bedroom and the office, you know what I mean? So you could be walking into the office, and it had kind of that romantic feel, or it could have kind of office feel. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, but we had a monthly phone service of 35 bucks a month. We had $40 a month for the cell phone. Believe that or not, $40 a month for the cell phone. Back in the time when everyone had the minutes plans, and that was really... You know what I'm talking about? Some of you guys now have unlimited, but I'm talking about where you'd watch the minutes. If someone called you, you were upset. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody wasn't business. All right, $200 on food. Uh, we ate a lot of those uh, $1, $4, dollars yogurts. Now with inflation, that would be like... Two for a dollar, maybe. Um, we uh, spent two hundred dollars a month on the food, ten dollars a month on entertainment. So, what kind of entertainment do you think we did? I'm guessing a lot of dollar movies. Bam, dollar movies, baby. That's five humans going twice. Okay, but we didn't do that. We just the two of us went five times. Okay. Then we had um, the uh, one hundred twenty-five dollars a month for my yellow page ad. Notice we spent more on the yellow page ad than we spent on the phone service. And on more on the, the entertainment. And we go on and on the car insurance. And we had zero budget here for AC or heat. So we had no air conditioning or heat during that first year of marriage. Therefore, all the candles we got as wedding gifts, that all melted. But the point is, we actually saved money every month and got ahead until we were able to grow the business. And I promise you, if we didn't have no AC and we didn't live on the $10 a month entertainment budget, then we would probably not be filming this incredible show that's changing your life. Wow. Wow. Um, I did not know that about you. That is incredible that you had no heat or AC. Yeah, people would come. We had a cat, too. So people would come in and they'd go, I don't know if, it's, if, the, if the stink is you or the cat uh, you know, excrement that's been heated. <laughs> holy cow. That's, no, holy cat. Oh, gosh. True. Oh, man. You talk about in this chapter how entrepreneurship needs rocket fuel. Yeah. Go on. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, this is the entrepreneurship here. This is kind of the indicative of the voyage. But if you were on a real entrepreneurship, it looked like this. And then what we'd be doing is we'd say, and you know, Houston, prepare for liftoff. And to get this dude off the ground, you've got to do some serious fueling of this vehicle. Jet fuel is not cheap. I don't know if you ever bought any jet fuel, but it's not cheap. So what you want to do is you have to know when you start your business, Assuming it's an auto detailing business, you might have five or six thousand dollars on initial infrastructure to get this baby going. Because once you're up in the air, now you're doing some big stuff. But if you're down here, it takes for you know it's a lot of lot more fuel to get off the ground initially. Once you're in orbit, you're just making money up here. But you got to get up there, and so you have to be able to put the funds aside to fuel your business when you start. And the best way to do that. In my opinion, is to live crazy cheap at first. So, so if, you're, if you're a teacher, if you're a fireman, you're a uh, IT consultant, and you're wanting to maybe start your own business on the side, live on the cheap ski. Move into a one-bedroom apartment, turn off the AC, maybe live in your car, get a gym membership, shower there, something like that. Whatever. But you need to make sure that you cut. Boy, you laughed at that idea. <laughs> what I said was that you, if you if you move out of your house, you live in your car, you can get a gym membership for thirty five a month, and you're taking a shot. You look clean. People don't know you live in your car, but you do. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, um, you talk about living eccentric, eccentrically. Yeah. And what does that not mean? Well, the idea about living eccentrically is that like if you're eccentric, 
then you should then you're outside of the normal centric is normal. And if you think about it right now, the average American, think about it, maybe this is you. The average American, USA Today, does studies on this, apparently spends more than they make. Therefore, if you're watching this, you probably have credit card debt. I don't. You probably do. Most people do. I don't. Most successful entrepreneurs don't. But most people watching this probably do. So if you want to switch over here to this side of the table, which I want you to do, you're going to have to start living separately than everybody else. So you're going to have to not ever consider getting a car payment again. So you go, that's not possible. Well, my first vehicle was a $1,500 Ford Escort that I hand-painted, but it was cash. No car payments. Never had a car payment. So not having a car payment is huge. That's limiting eccentrically. Um, not having cable, that's eccentric. Uh, not having AC, that's eccentric. Whatever you have to do to get away from the mediocrity that is the middle, to get ahead, that's what you're going to have to do. Wow. So how would you say that the American family has their budgeting and their priorities wrong? I think the two things the average American family has right now is they're confusing wants with needs. So I think the average American family watching this, probably everyone in your home has a cell phone. Did we die in the 80s? I mean, how did I make it out of the 80s? <laughs> you know, I mean, but that was the whole thing. Now everyone has a car, too. So you got four kids, you know, you got uh, mom, dad, two kids, they got four cars. And then you've got the kids that are teenagers, you got four cell phones. And then you've got the internet connection, and you've got an internet connection at work, and you've got a flat screen TV at home, and you've got the uh, movie channel. and the, uh, You don't need it. Just get rid of the cell phones, get rid of the extra cars, get rid of the TV, and just sit there and enjoy your time together. Or do something, but don't have to, you don't have to work 70 hours a week just to break even. Or in most of the case of most American families, they work 70 hours a week just to lose money every year. I mean, think about how sad it is that the average American retiring right now at age 69, which by the way, that's a fun number. You can't retire until you're 69 years old. You can't retire 65, not 69. It'll probably be 84 when you get to retirement age. But the average person at age 69 has no money set aside at all for retirement. So they're just waiting on the government to send them a check. And that can be totally different. You can have money in the bank. You can care less whether the government sends you a check. If you'll just turn off the cable. If you'll just stop buying cell phone premium packages. If you'll just stop buying stupid things you don't need off the shopping channel. Although they do get silly, the great blender that I bought at Sam's. Not on the shopping channel. <laughs> Amazing. Well, Clay, do you have any closing thoughts for our viewers out there today in regards to budgeting? Well, in regards to budgeting, I just think it's super important that you're vigilant and intense about your budget. I'm just going to give you an example. We're right now working on the build-out of our new office, and there's a desk we're installing. And, and Jared, the, we, we were quoted for the desk, like, 500 bucks. 400 bucks to build in this built-in, like a half wall in a desk area. And the bill came to? I'm guessing a little more than $500. Or right the, at $500. These guys were wanting like north of $2,000 to install a desk. Wow. But the thing is, if I don't take offense to it and I just pay them, then the deed is done. So you have to go, whoa, 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 our budget is this much. This is what we said it's going to be. Fight that fight. Then the concrete guy says, yeah, I know it was going to be a dollar a square foot. But, but... Due to the changes in the economy, things I had going on, extra concrete I had to pour, uh, you know, more work I had to do, I dug a hole in the wrong spot, that kind of thing, it's going to be about $3 a square foot. So it ends up going from about 2000 to 8000 Those kind of things happen. So it's just important that you are intense about your budget and you take it seriously because not too many people care about your budget other than you. Wow. Well, there you have it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always post them right here on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions you'd like to email Clay directly, clay at makeyourlifeepic.com. And there you have it. That is our, let's see, what, what episode is this, 34? Episode 77. I don't think it's actually 77. Take four of episode 77. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. We we'll hope this helps you navigating the tricky waters of entrepreneurship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.